This part of the series will hopefully explain why the wattage needed to light up a room is different when using a regular incandescent light bulb compared to either a CFL or LED bulb. Okay, let's get into a bit of science. What is lumens? Lumens is the total amount of visible light that an object produces. And these days when you're buying your light bulbs, lumens is usually noted on the package. It gives the individual a way to compare the light output between different bulbs. And comparing lumens between all incandescent and CFL bulbs is perfectly fine. The more lumens on the box, the brighter the bulb will be. But comparing lumens between an LED bulb and the other two does not work. Let me introduce something to you you probably haven't heard before. Lumens and useful lumens. If a light bulb gives off light in all directions, equally above and below, then that light going up can get trapped in the light fitting, and often it does. Take a popular can light fitting, about 50% of the light emitted from a CFL or incandescent bulb is trapped inside the fitting and never makes it out. It just gets absorbed and wasted as heat. So of all the lumens that a bulb produces, only about half actually lights the room. Only about half are actually useful lumens. A big reason LEDs are better light bulbs is the nature of their construction. The LED chips mounted to the body of the bulb are all pointed in the same direction. So basically all the light coming out is pointing down, and as bulbs in your ceiling are pointed down, all of the light produced by the LED bulb makes it into the room. So if we look at an LED bulb next to a CFL next to an incandescent, the reason why the 7 watt LED is equal in light levels to the other two is because only about half of the lumens from the CFL and incandescent are actually usable. But sometimes you're going to need a light bulb that puts out light both equally up and down, like in a floor or desk lamp or a hanging pendant like this one. All that being said, comparing the lumens between LED bulbs is a proper and helpful way to compare performance. A quick note, in part 8 we talk about the colour temperature of LED bulbs. Colour temperature refers to how warm or cool the white light looks. Say you're comparing two LED bulbs otherwise identical, but one is 3000K warm white and the other is 5000K cool white. The 5000K light output will always be higher by about 15 or 20%. Efficacy is how effective a light bulb is at converting electricity into visible light. And the amount of electricity a bulb draws when turned on is measured in watts. Efficacy is measured as lumens per watt. So say a 100 watt light bulb has 2000 lumens on the box, the efficacy would be 20 lumens per watt. Let's put that in perspective real quick. An incandescent, 20 lumens per watt. A CFL, 60 lumens per watt and an LED 60 to 80 lumens per watt. And seeing as you're paying for electricity, you want the most amount of light while only using the least amount of electricity. Converting electricity to light is not easy. I just want to make one simple point about energy when it comes to light bulbs. Of the total electrical energy that an incandescent light bulb draws, only about 10% is converted to light. The other 90% is converted to heat. That's just the nature of incandescent light technology. You have to heat a thin filament to around 5000 degrees Fahrenheit so it can glow white and give off light. Light bulb engineers have for many years tried to improve the ratio of light output to wasted heat. CFLs were invented because fluorescent tubes showed an efficiency of about 30% wasting only 70% as heat. So using the same technology with some rearranging the straight tubes into small spirals, the CFL was born. Although they offer the same problems as fluoro tubes like taking time to warm up and sometimes making a buzzing noise, CFLs have been widely adopted for their improved efficacy and longer lifetimes. LEDs for general lighting have been extensively developed over the last 10 years because, like CFLs, they too offer greater efficacy and longer lifetimes. Except LEDs have a much brighter future because they are more efficient and last even longer than CFLs, without any of the drawbacks. Well hopefully that explains how for example these days a 40 watt regular light bulb can be replaced by a 15 watt CFL or 7 watt LED. In our next video we talk about the components that make up an LED bulb.